There are a lot of ingredients that go into creating a consistent exercise program, having goals, being prepared, being disciplined, and staying committed. But one of the most important, and sometimes most elusive, is motivation. We often wait for the motivation to exercise, thinking one day we'll wake up and it'll be there. What's true for many of us, however, is that the motivation to work out is the strongest in the planning phase, since most of us are working for some future goal, like losing weight. Think about it. When you're planning a future workout, you're in a totally different head space. You're probably relaxed, rested, and feeling good, maybe visualizing yourself going through a workout and being successful. But what happens when the alarm goes off at 5 a.m.? Or when you're driving home after a long day of work? That motivation is nowhere to be found. Motivation is a tricky business, but understanding just what it is and how to use it to your advantage can help you harness its power. What is motivation? Motivation can be defined in very simple terms, what drives us to maintain or achieve goals. One might even say it is a form of desire. When you look at it that way, things change a bit, at least for many of us. Yes, you should exercise, you need to exercise, you want to want to exercise. But do you have a desire for exercise? For some people, maybe, they like how it feels to exercise. But, for many of us, exercise is usually thought of as having one end goal, helping you to lose weight, look better, get strong, feel better, be healthy, stave off diabetes, etc. That's a little different than wanting to exercise, which is why so many of us run into that brick wall. We set goals, we make plans, Maybe we even stick with those plans for a while. But then we may find that motivation fading and wonder what we are doing wrong. It's not that you're doing something wrong, it may just be you haven't figured out what motivates you. Where does motivation come from? It's important to know where your motivation comes from and that there are a couple of different types of motivation. There are external things that motivate you and then there are internal desires that drive you. Extrinsic motivation. This kind of motivation is what we usually rely on when it comes to exercise. It's kind of like the carrot and the stick. You try to lure yourself into a workout with the carrot, you'll lose weight, or by hitting yourself with an invisible stick, you'll get fat if you don't work out. Other external motivators include Looking good in a bathing suit Losing weight for a high school reunion Getting flat ABS Wanting to fit into old jeans Trying to get back to the weight you were in college. Wanting to look good for your spouse or loved one. When you have that kind of motivation, you're not necessarily exercising because you like it. You're doing it because it's going to give you what you want at some vague future time. That's not always a bad thing if it works. In fact, this kind of motivation is great for those moments when you think about skipping your workout and then remember your goal, whatever that may be. The trouble is, what if it doesn't give you what you want or you don't know how long it's going to take? What if you can't do the amount of exercise required to get that bathing suit body? Or what happens if you just don't have the genetics to get flat ABS? That's often when motivation slides and you start to think, why even bother if none of this is working?